I made another video that covers uh, sildenafil, but I'm just going to cover uh, talk about it really quickly. Sildenafil is a phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor. Um, it's used for erectile dysfunction and pulmonary arterial hypertension. I'm also going to talk about for a second milirinone, uh, also know, called uh, Primacor, which is also a phosphodiesterase inhibitor. So first of all, sildenafil, basically what's going on here is that Phosphodiesterase is an enzyme that breaks down cyclic GMP. And cyclic GMP is what essentially um, causes smooth muscle, uh, well, I'll go back this way. So here's, here's you know, blood vessels, inside are smooth muscles, actin, myosin. In order for this whole process to work, it has to have a myosin light chain kinase, uh, put some phosphates on here. Myosin light chain kinase can't be activated unless calmodulin binds to cal calcium and activates it. But cyclic, um, cyclic GMP um, is essentially going to be what, uh, I'll just read it here. It says, as phosphodiesterase 5 inactivates cyclic GMP, um, so Phosphodiesterase 5 is going to inactivate the cyclic GMP and write down cyclic GMP. <clears throat> that means that phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors, so here's phosphodiesterase 5, so that breaks this down. So if you have an inhibitor of this, it means you're going to have more of this. And if you have more of this, it means you're going to have um, um, let me just read it here. Uh, so, excuse me, back up. As phosphodiesterase 5 inactivates cyclic GMP, phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors lead to an increase in cyclic GMP via a decrease in degradation. Increased cyclic GMP leads to dephosphorylation of myosin light chain. So, if you have more cyclic GMP, you're going to have more dephosphor dephosphorylation of myosin light chain. See, this myosin light chain is the thing that puts the phosphates on the myosin to cause um, contraction. So, if there is, um, if this is being dephosphorylated, if you're taking the phosphates off of here, then this gets inactivated. If this gets inactivated, then this process isn't going to go for it. So let me write this all out uh, step by step. So here's phosphodiesterase 5. Phosphodiesterase 5 breaks down cyclic GMP. Cyclic GMP, oh, I wrote that right in the spot, you can't see it, can you? Let me write it down here. Phosphodiesterase 5 breaks down cyclic GMP. Cyclic GMP dephosphorylates myosin light chain kinase and myosin light chain kinase is the thing that causes essentially smooth muscle contraction. So it narrows this, makes it smaller. So this activates this. This is positive. If you have this activated, then you're going to have smooth muscle contraction. This cyclic GMP is the thing that activates the myosin light chain phosphatase which inactivates that. So this turns this off. Okay. So if, yeah, I, I think I explained that well enough. Hopefully I explained that correctly. Hope I didn't make mistakes, but you get kind of the process of what happens there. So essentially this doesn't have much effect anywhere in the body except for in the penis. And then the penis is where it uh, relaxes the, the blood vessels, expands it, causes a, a rec, a, an erection. And so that's why it's used for erectile dysfunction. Okay. So now milrinone. I'll just read this as well. So this one works. It inhibits phosphodiesterase 3. This is the one that's found in cardiac and smooth muscle. So as phosphodiesterase 3 inactivates cyclic AMP, phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors increase cyclic AMP by a decreased amount of degradation. So it's kind of confusing the way this works because you're like decreasing the things that decrease this, which means you get more of this, which is going to cause it to relax. So it's, it's kind of complicated. Uh, but it's used for treatment in decompensated heart failure. It, it uh, used uh, increased inotropy and decreased afterload, increased cardiac output, decreased pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. 
So hopefully that explained that good enough.